What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jay Halim again, knocking out these questions, getting some real good ones in here, real simple ones. So that means people, I'm getting to the right people I need to get to. I'm getting to people who really thinking, you know, hey, I'm thinking about starting a business. I might be going to, do I have everything it takes? Stuff like that. So this question here is one of those, they said, what kind of skills do I need to have to build a strong network? Well, some people, just inherit a strong network. Some people are very, very popular. Some people are like, the, the world is, you know, the seed just parts for them. You know, it's just like, everybody knows them. They're just waiting on them to do something. Whatever it is they want to do, a bunch of people around them is waiting. But for my people who don't have that, you know, just waiting for them, you know, people just waiting on them to do something. People seem like people don't care what, you, what you're doing. You know, um, I just think that you just got to get out get out from behind the computer, get out there and um, bring your product and your service to the forefront. A lot of times building a strong network is having a strong product. If you have something that people need, you know, people are gonna wanna know you. People are gonna wanna be around you. And at that point, you need to be accessible. You need to be somewhere where people can put their hands on you and talk to you. And you know, the longer you keep making these people happy with your product and service, those are your network. Then another way is to give something to the people that's in your network or that you want to be in your network. A lot of people want to go to people selling, 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 selling. Here, 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 here. Give them something. What are you giving them? You know, people don't forget when you take care of them. People don't forget how you make them feel. So when you're treating people good, if you have a service and you're providing something for them. One thing I did a couple of years back, me and a friend of mine, we created um, networking uh, events. For, for individuals around here. It was free to come, you know, but we created an opportunity for people to network and get their business, put their business on, on blast. You can't, you know, ask for a better situation. I could have been there trying to sell my business and everything like that, you know, and just say, hey, everybody come here, buy, buy, buy for me. But no, I created an avenue for everybody. Somebody else was gonna make some money. I even had other photographers, other people that use cameras there. And um, that was fine. I was okay with that. But that giving, that adding value, that adding something to people automatically gets people with you, with you, within your network. You know, so don't you know, push that to the side. What are you offering? Show up, when you extend your hand, have something in it. Don't just extend your hand trying to get something to take back. Extend your hand, have something in it. That's a quick way to you know, be able to get a network. You know, you want somebody to do something for you, offer to do something for them, you know, in return. Or do something for them in advance and say, hey, you know, for you to do something for me. That's a quick way to build a network, to build trust, you know. And you're also putting your you know, your, show, your service on display. You're putting your own product on display. You didn't have to pay, you know, for, for anything like that. You're able to go ahead and put your stuff right there on Front Street. So that's what I would tell you to do. You know, if you're not that person who the water just part for them so easily, <laughs> start giving away some things, you know, um, and start putting yourself in a position to where people can see your service or your product. And um, I think it'll be a good look. I think it'll work out. Hey, good service and good products. People don't leave that, you know. Um, barbershops, people get their hair cut from somebody. They don't just go nowhere to the next person for no reason. The hairdresser. People don't lose, don't leave hairdressers, just go to some other hairdressers. So if you do a good job, a lot of times they'll keep using you. And then the biggest thing is they'll refer you, refer other people to you. So that's what I would tell you to do. That's the route I would take. Leave a comment, tell me if you would go a different route, man. If somebody hear this and think they'll go a different route, have something to add to it, leave a comment below. Let's get the conversation started. Again, subscribe to the YouTube page, youtube.com backslash Media. We'll see you guys next time. Keep asking questions.